Hello and Declan, um, three runners, three winners. Nice to come up here and rob the Wexford men of their prize money. Yeah, I know, it's great. Uh, fancy the three of them coming here and uh, luckily the three of them obliged. It was great. Uh, the four year old was a horse that had been working very well and we fancied him coming here, so uh, it was nice to get the job done. I think he goes to maybe Cheltenham Sales now, so delighted that he won. He was kind of the most important one, the money horse, you know yourself. Um, son of Cork Cave, Desert Cave. Like you said, on debut, um, there was plenty of whispers around that he was well fancied and uh, he, had, he had to be tough at the back of the last yeah, to he, play a good finish. He did, he made a bad mistake at the third last, which is a crucial point there as he's coming up the hill and he landed in a heap at the back of it and he had to get going and he dropped back. He fought very hard and as I said, he had been working very well and we thought he'd, he'd win, so we had a few quid in him, so it was grand. Good. And then you followed up with a quick double then um, in the mayor's five-year-old yeah. maiden. Um, with uh, Desert Heather. Desert Heather yeah, and yep. she's a mare that had uh, snippets of form last season, and uh, there was a stable change. And look, she, she was doing things nicely, like her work was kind of workman like at home, but stays well and jumped well. And I told Chris Booker out, make it a test, and uh, he was very good on her, and uh, turned it into a slog. And uh, she won as she likes, so I delighted with her. That track form stood to her then today, didn't uh, it? It did, like, and she had snippets of form and point of points before, and uh, we'd see, we just tip away maybe couple of winners races now and she has a mark of 86 over fences we ran our beginners before we came back so we see we, we can we can do look, look maybe going back to the track maybe in January when the ground is deep but no, she's the ground would have she should knock up a couple of wins I'd say hopefully in point of points in point before of, she goes back to the track. exactly a nice kind of mare to have good and then uh, he followed up with a very easy success in the last horse uh, short price favor he, he he, he should be winning this race. Rockies, how are you? Um, again, Chris made a good test to make sure uh, there was never going to be any hard luck. Yeah, that was it. I just said to Chris again before, he knows the horse well. He had been working now fairly well, and uh, he did a good bit of work with Lars Schnitzel last was a Saturday, and uh, he, 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 he had the edge of him. And uh, I said to Chris again, I said, no messing around here now, out and gone. He jumped real well, stays well. And again, I think he's a horse just with that, with that snippets of track form again. When he was a bit younger, he'll he'll stay well. He has experience, so he could turn into a nice point of pointer. Now I like the horse. Well, things are going well for you on the track as well. And how are you finding switching to professional riding them horses yourself? Ah, it's good. It's it's easier. I prefer the way it is now. Say say coming here riding the four, like I would, probably wouldn't have liked that. You're under a lot of pressure with them money horses. It's grand riding a couple of hurdles. You still get the buzz, and there's no real pressure. And Chris, the younger man, to take them, say them pressure horses, is not that easy. He's a very good rider, isn't he, Chris? He's a very, very good rider. Um, he's probably himself and James Hannon are the two best in Cork and Waterford, and they fought out the Southern title. From all the rides he's had for us, he hasn't yet to make a mistake. His strike rate of winners is crazy. He's Everything we've put him on, he's nearly won. He's a serious rider. It's very important to have a good rider, of course, on the track, but especially here in Point to Points, you need a good man in your stable, don't you? Well, you have a lot of horses. Exactly, yeah, and he's he's an nice lad. He comes in, he's the first fella to go for the sprung in the morning. There's no airs and grace about him. He gets on with all the lads, has a bit of crack. He knows the horses well. He works three days a week, uh, and he he builds a bond with the horses. He knows exactly what he's doing, and he doesn't miss on them. And that's what you want when you've got these good four-year-olds. That you need a good jockey. Absolutely. Uh, many more four-year-olds to run before Christmas. Uh, I've Two, there's around a couple more foils left over of a good coastal pat horse that could run in Lisrona. He's a big strapping horse, cost a few quid, goes well. And I have another proconsul horse. Uh, he's that proconsul is a full brother to Frankel. He'll be out a little bit later, maybe Ballon Dennis. He goes well too. So they're the kind of two money ones. A good few three year olds, and then we've a couple of track horses there. They're tipping away. It's harder when they start climbing the handicap, which you just have to make do with what you have. And good. Well, well done today. Thanks and very much. Very best look at those other horses. Thanks, David.